so hello guys and welcome to my first makeup tutorial on my youtube channel and today is going to be all about a christmas holiday festive season look so i'm just gonna do my makeup and let's see how it will turn out but i have something in mind and i already showed you on instagram what kind of look you would like to see and you all said do like a more golden brown decent look but i'm still gonna switch it up with a few of the lipsticks for the other persons who wanted to see like a red lip look i can recommend a few colors for you guys also the differences and yeah so let's start my skin as you guys can see there's no makeup on there i have a few spots at the moment and my skin is not as good as it was but that's fine i'm gonna handle it it's always getting bad in like in winter time and i still haven't figured out how to get my skin into a good um yeah to make it look good all year around so i'm just wearing this simple top it's by sarah because i don't want it to take away from the uh, makeup and these cute earrings you can see i have so many spots but that's okay that's why we have makeup girls um, and these earrings they are by Celine. I know you guys are gonna ask, so I'm telling you before. Also, I have a few accessories that you can wear. I'm gonna show you to so this cute thing, Mazara. Maybe something for the hair to put in there, like this. But let's see. Okay, so let me start by brushing through my eyebrows, which you guys know I am obsessed with. Okay, and now. Starting with the makeup, I really need something to cover all my spots. And at the moment, I'm mixing my favorite Bobbi Brown makeup in the color 3.5 Warm Beige. In summer, I use 4.5, but it's winter, so we have to go a shade lighter. And I'm mixing it with the um, Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlie Tilbury because I have spots. And this makeup is really light and I need something to cover them. So, mixing them both. Let's start with the Bobbi Brown one and I'm gonna apply it with my Beauty Blender and also with this brush that I got by Givenchy because it's very nice to um, put the makeup on the face. And also, if you go like to a Christmas party and you want your makeup to stay really long, you can wear this. Sephora Fashional by Benefit. I sometimes use this, but because my skin is kind of bad, I don't want to put too much product on my face, so I'm not going to use this today. But I'm going to go to a Christmas party today. Because Mario has a Christmas party from his team, and we're going to go there, so it was a perfect time to do this video. So my makeup is going to be gone. I'm gonna be ready whenever I go there. And then I can chill. Also, one pump. I used one pump of the Bobbi Brown and one pump of the Charlie Tilbury, but I'm not gonna put it all on my face because this is really. I mean, half a pump would have been fine. But that's okay. So, on the forehead. <laughs> This looks like a little bit of a masterpiece here on my face. I'm gonna use it the rest. And now I'm gonna try to get it everywhere and mix with the other foundation. And this shade is darker than my skin tone. But I like it. I like to have my look, uh, to have my face a little bit darker. As long as you blend it very carefully at your neck, I think that's fine. But I like to look a little bit more bronzy, especially if you go for a more bronzed look. So and now I think the fun 
foundation is everywhere. I'm gonna take my beauty blender that I already wet it. It always takes forever to blend everything, but that's fine. Okay, Next step, Tarte um, Concealer. I really like this one. I'm using this in the color 16 and Pale Light Neutral. And because it is an evening um, event, of course, also in Germany it gets kind of dark. Um, this time of the year, so. I think it's totally fine to put on my makeup then it's summer. And for this, I'm gonna use this brush. It's number 11 by Dior. I'm just gonna dip it into the skin and then I'm gonna use the beauty blender again and try to work it into my skin. This looks a little bit strange now because my lips are white. But we can work with this. Better. So let's continue with the little bit of baking that I'm doing. First of you, my blender. Okay. And now I'm gonna put my favorite powder on top of all of this. And I use the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Airbrush Flawless Finish. finish. And for the winter time, I use number one. And for the summertime number two and now I'm gonna do number one under my eyes and like all of the parts where I put the concealer I put number one to here and the parts where I I want to do a little bit of bronzing later. I'm going to put number two. Number two. Then you put a bow tie, like a little headband in here, so I don't have to mess with my hair. A lot of you ask me because I use this for powder, it's by Tarte, same as the concealer. It was like a special edition, I don't know if they still have it, but you can look it up. I'm gonna use this brush by NARS, and I'm gonna use the bronzing powder by La Mer, which is amazing. They have like three different colors. I don't know if you can see it very well, but this is more like bronzy, a bit lighter and darker. And I'm gonna mix them up. Even though it's winter, we don't want to look like it's winter, right? And 
course using this brush by NARS as well a little bit to shape the face just a little bit because I was using so much concealer and product and then you really have to work with the other stuff as well you cannot use a lot of one product and then don't use a lot of the other products if you don't put much makeup or foundation on your face you don't have to put like so much contouring but if you don't you look like a ghost you know like with no depths on your face and now let's go with the eyebrows so the face looks a little bit nicer already and for the eyebrows really simple i'm just gonna use this little thing that i took it's a flower you know this little thing where you can test stuff i mean i used it so if i put it in the trash or if i just take it home i think that's not a crime i hope so and i'm using this by anastasia beverly hills it's a brow gel, but it's already colored, and the color is ash brown, which is really good for my for my eyebrows. And at the moment, I'm not really into shaping them with like a pencil or with powder because it's so much. I more like to have it a little bit. I like to have it a little bit more natural. Which I think is nice. Okay, this this side I messed up a little. Probably get Q-tip swaps. And now I'm gonna take this little thing. I'm gonna use hairspray because I like to keep my eyebrows in like they should stay where they are and I was using so many different gels and stuff to keep them where they should be but nothing is as good as halfway gets dirty at some point just wash it uh, with a little bit of soap and warm water and it will look new and clean next step let's take care of the eyes well first let me highlight my face a little and for this i like to use the highlighter by Fenty beauty which is called how many carrots diamond bomb and this is a diamond bomb it's crazy how sparkly this is for this i'm going to take this brush by nars they don't have numbers on it but it's like a, like a good size for like a highlight i'm gonna put a little bit on my nose and now of course on the cheekbone And I like to take it to the eye. Sometimes I even put it under my eye when I go on a wet carpet because then the lighting will reflect and your eyes will look like you won't have any dark circles. I think it's such a nice highlighter. Next step, let's go and take care of the eyes. And I have three products, products that I love to use at the moment. First, by Bobbi Brown. This is called Melting Pot Looks Eyeshadow Rich Metal. 
Then I love this by Charlie Tilbury. It's called the Deutsche Vita. And by Too Faced, this is the Gingerbread Extra Spicy. Look at these colors. It's so perfect for like the festive days and for Christmas season and also for New Year's. I mean, look at this color and look at all the sparkling colors, a little bit of nude and brownish and pinky. So I'm gonna mix all of these three and I'm gonna start with the Melting Pot by Bobby Brown. I'm gonna use this brush by Noise because it's a thick brush. And I'm just gonna put the product all over my eyelid. And I'm gonna take a little bit of a smaller brush, this one, which is by Huda Beauty. And I'm gonna put this right under my eyebrows. Okay, I need to take this off. Let's continue. Done with the melting pot. Let's take this Charlie Trevor. You can see I've used this a lot. I take this for like the moving eye, the eyelid, this in the corner, and this here. Take a small brush. This one goes here. Gives your eyes, it opens your eyes up a little bit. Gives you like a little bit of sparkle. Now, I'm gonna take a little bit of a bigger brush. I'm gonna take this this color. Put it on the eyelid. gingerbread palette and I'm going to use this color which is called gingerbread glam and then cleaning the brush I'm just gonna blend it another color of this for this look but I'm gonna use the Charlie Tilbury La Dolce Vita and I'm gonna go with I think it's called pop it should be smoke but I think it's called pop I'm gonna take a really small brush this one by Dior and I cannot read 22 I can still read it I'm using this brush a lot because it's has a really good shape for what I'm about to do. I'm gonna take this up, close my eyes, I'm gonna put it on top like an eyeliner. But I'm gonna do it with eyeshadow. Because this way it's not so harsh, you know, when you take an eyeliner or like crayon. It's like really harsh and this is more soft. And you can create the same effect. Let's put it down here. And I'm gonna take the brush again and I'm gonna blend it. And then I'm gonna take this brush by Dior 24 because it is this shape. I'm gonna go in this color. So good to create a wing. And then I have like a little bit of a wing, but really soft. I'm gonna go this with the other eye as well. Let's put this brush. Taking a little bit lighter color from the brown, put it under my eyes. 
make it a little, look a little bit more smoky, but not too much. Now very important, clean under your eyes a little bit. this makeup even though I'm talking it goes kind of fast and I think it look, kind of looks natural but still people can see you've got something on your face and I think that's nice and now let's go with mascara I'm gonna use this Timex by Nars which I absolutely love and also this little thing that I also took with me when I was in Mac or some, somewhere else I always take it, but then don't take it like sneaky. I take it obviously so that when someone says like, "Oh girl, you cannot take this," I would be, "Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know." Like I don't want to. I'm not stealing it, but I like. I also put it on the counter when I buy something, and they always let me pack it. So, I mean, if you put it in the trash or if you just take it, I think it's the same. And now I was talking and my eyelashes do not look good. <laughs> Normally eyelashes is like my thing. The thing I can never mess up. The thing that's so easy. Not today. I'm gonna let this dry and then when it's dry you can just remove it very easily. Almost done guys, almost done. Now next step is the lips. If you would like to keep it like this, mm, I would recommend to use either a lip gloss, and I love this one by Lancome, which is 212. I showed you this before because I love it. It's like a silky, glittery, nude color. It feels very good on the lips. But you could also go with like a little bit of color. These are all by Dior. This is a mud, a little bit more into red-ish and this is like a shiny one. And I'm gonna go with this one, which is Classic Matte 772. And because I don't want it to be on my lips too strong, I'm just gonna dab it. I always dab my lipstick because you can see it's not gonna, if you take it like this, it's gonna be like so much but if you just dab your lipstick it's gonna give you a little bit of color but it's not gonna be too much don't even know where I learned it at but someone must have told me and now you can just you see it's very very decent but you've got something on your lips and it looks a little bit more happy Color is just beautiful. It's 772 Classic Matte. It's the perfect nude for me because I like to have a little bit of red ish in there, not too nude, not too brown. Something a little bit more. And now, if you don't want to go for matte finish, you can also add this lip gloss by Lancome. So nice. Can you see all these little sparkles? Mm, it's so silky. Now, we can be done, but we're not done yet. Because I want to show you guys um, the same look, and it will look totally different if you wear it with red lips. So let's go for it. 
I prepared three different kinds of red. This one is a mud red, which I love. It's 999. This one is a very classic red, very classic. This is called 2020 Happy, Happy New Year. And this is almost the same, but it's a little bit more light and a little younger I would say and I love to have a red that is a little bit more fresh and this is wet smile 080 but because I am into too much looks at the moment very addicted I'm gonna go with the matte red the matte perfect red in 999 but I need to remove the lip gloss first but that's super easy because the lip gloss by Lancome is super not sticky it's more like a cream or gel super easy and now I'm gonna use beauty blender to prepare the lips also a little bit of powder We're back and we're back to simple lips. I'm gonna go with the red and I'm not gonna use a lip liner. I'm not, I, I have phases at the moment, I'm not into lip liners, so I'm gonna go for the red and I'm just gonna dip it just like I did before. And when you feel like you have enough. product depth you can also take it and then put it all on but I like to dab it on first and then to use it done I guess we all have our ways to put on lipstick but this is my way if you still have a product that's especially with red you have to be very careful but that's it this is probably properly the way i would i will have my christmas eve because i love to have classic makeup very decent you can still mix it up with the lips you can go whatever you want to go for you can go with like a new lip matte lip gloss you can put on red lipstick after. If you don't like it, just remove it. It's so easy, but you can really play a little bit. And now I wanted to show you stuff you can also play with. This one I bought at Sarah. I guess so many of you will have this one, but I think it's so nice for New Year's or even for Christmas. I'm So nice. one by Jennifer Bear, which I was wearing before, which I think is also very classic. If you wear like a simple dress, you know, you've got these little parts. And then also this one by Jennifer Bear. I was wearing this one in New York to like an event. Got so many compliments for it because it goes up really high here. It's like a little crown. At least I imagine it to be a crown. And if you are not into headbands, which I totally understand, if you're not, still wear your hair open, or you can do like a little knot. Just super easy. You just take your hair, and then you twist it around, and then you take your something to make it last and then you can pull out here a little bit or you can leave it take something from here or you can also put it back in there and mix it up with like these little hair clips which i love i bought these at sour as well i love to have them right here 
look. You look very cute with this. You can put them either on both sides, like this. I was wearing this for Amphagala in Milan this year. Like this. Or you can go and let this side loose. guys i hope you feel i just i thought i have um, lipstick on my teeth this is not nice and that's why i have a mirror on the back of my phone <laughs> because i don't like to have something on my teeth and when i have my, my my phone i always have it in my hands i can just switch it smile in it and then i know you're safe to go you can get it on amazon by the way i can put the link so many guys ask me of oh, you ask me because of this and it is on Amazon, super easy, only costs like 5 euros, you can get like 10 mirrors you can share with your girlfriends, like I did. And yeah, that's it, that's my Christmas makeup, very easy, or holiday season makeup, you can also do this on New Year's Eve, you can mix it up with any um, lipstick that you have, like sparkly one, nude one, red, dark, blue, pink, whatever you want to go for. And even with the eyes, if you want to give it like a little bit more of drama, you can add like a wing with special, for example, this one by Dream Machine. And you can just put a wing right here. I'm not gonna do this because I am into soft wings made with eyeshadow. And that's it, you guys. I hope you will have a wonderful Christmas time with your loved ones. Enjoy it. It is the most beautiful time of the year for me and Whatever you want to go for even if you don't want to put any makeup on um, Still thank you for watching. <laughs> See you soon